Yeah. Steady. Anyway, weather topic aside. Going again. Do you want to go that way, which is probably the end, or do we want to go this way? Probably not the end. That looks like the end by the room shape. Well, here's the thing. The map has three branches of which we've not explored. Pickety clack, pickety clack. Can you clack the snake snack is back? Yeah, so... We also do a lot of grinding. How do I put this? Yeah, no, it's just been really dry. So the back one says it's only 44 in here. Okay. I've got that pot back. I'm hoping it's going to be softer. It's going to take it a bit because it does have a lot of surface area. And there's an AC unit nearby where the air is just going out that window. Um, neither one of us can go. Neither one of us has any more. Just leave. Leave quickly. Leave quickly and gate. Mm. Yeah, I think by the time this is out, you guys will have seen partially at least the results of what we've been working so hard on. At least you might start hearing a word in it. You know, it does much wrong to us. Mm-hmm. Thinking of planning, like, I know companies don't do this. It's like, okay, we finish the project immediately on to the next one, right? Yeah. Don't take a break. Most companies don't. Considering how stressed I feel from having to do all of this. You feel like you need one? I feel like once the project is done, I'm going to let everyone have, like, a couple week breather, and then we'll get back into the anthology of okay. Especially because if we're releasing it around the holiday, like, ah, you know? Mm-hmm. That's my potion swing. Fifteen, six... I don't need that many of those. It's like, how do you feel about that? Because think about it, Deb. Ellen's going to turn in five pieces. Okay. Scott's giving me one. Okay. But he's giving me a series of mini stories. Okay. I don't know how many, I don't know how many pages it is. I don't know what that means. Are they all interconnected? Yes, they're all revolving around New Year's, apparently. Okay. So that's how they fit in. Um, I have two pieces that I'm working on. Bill Nidro's given me one. Erica's given me one. Sarah Sanders will, go, will give me one. Mm-hmm. Amy Lee will give me one. Gandalf will give me some mixed with Alice. So his, her five is more like one or two of his as well. Does that make sense? So what was in mind? Like... That's a lot, <laughs> and I only have a few months to do it. It's very stressful. By the time this video goes out, it'll be like September, October. Mm. <laughs> so with all of that editing for everyone, I'm feeling once this project is over, I, I'm thinking about giving everyone like a couple weeks break to not have any assignments. That'd be nice. Which I know for mom it'll just be a dry spell where she just has to focus on her job. Like, mm-hmm. I, I don't care. Like, I know it would be, okay, on to the next project immediately. Um, no, not going now. We're all a little. Burnt. Yeah, I don't want to fry us more and make it worse. Like, we've worked really hard, now we just need to sit in a hole, let marketing do their thing. And try to push this a little bit more out. Try to get the product out. But also, Mom said that for most holiday things in retail, you need to get everything out by September because it's back to school, then it's Halloween. 
And then in October, they start putting out the Christmas stuff. Thanksgiving is in there for like a day or two. So you have to have everything ready by September. November's way too late. You know what Rob told me? Because he apparently worked in a bookstore years and years and years ago. Mm -hmm. He's like, they put all the Christmas holiday special stuff out the second, the, the second or third week of November. Mm -hmm. That's when bookstores put it out. Oh, well, usually right after Thanksgiving. Because that's when it performs the best. They don't want to inundate you with all of the not normal stuff. Well, they want to push it, but they don't want to push it too early. But places like Walmart and Wise and shit are your typical retailers. And retailers isn't really what we're after as much as bookstores. It's more so, like it. That's kind of like why when Rob and Ellen and I made the timeline for this sucker, we're like, oh, it seems feasible, but mom's telling me it's due in September. Also, Jay's opinion on that is, does she know anything about the production of this project? There's a lot to it. What what did, what exactly did you tell her? I'm like, I talked to her about the editing process of it. I'm like, if we ain't at table read by November, we're fucked. Mm -hmm. We're pushing it back to next year. Yeah, because there ain't no way in hell if we don't have every piece ready by November. Because even those first two weeks, by Rob's timeline, mm -hmm. third week of November, those first two weeks I would want to use the weekends for table read. Mm-hmm. So that we can just read all the pieces consecutively and get that table of contents finished so that we can get the layout done and everything's ready. And get it out to print. Yep. Jay has to work on the cover in the meantime. Jinx needs to work on the cover. Mm -hmm. um, which is what we were supposed to Jinx talk about Jay. tonight, but it got canceled. Jinx and Jay. No one's feeling up to snuff right now. Mm -hmm. um, I can't so, help it. I like I like calling him that. Then, please. Jinxie. <laughs> Jinxie Jay. So, um... But with all that in board. mind, like, again, if we're not at table read, everything's ready to go by the time we've got, mm. we've hit November, we're fucked. Mom's like, no, you need to be ready by September. And I'm like, I only explained to her the editing process. This is what I said to Jinx. I've only explained to her the editing process. How I need the edits to go, which is the biggest challenge that we've got. Oh, wow. The biggest challenge we have is time and the fact that we have retailers and, and, People who get busy around that time. Of yep, year. we keep hitting me. Don't worry about her. Eat confusion, bitch. Let's check them out before we get too close to that. Oh, that's why I was trying to go around it. Yeah, we gotta stay away. So it's like, Jay, Jay's like, then she can shush about it. She doesn't know. It's not her plan. Mm -hmm. And it's a good plan. Stuff. I told Ellen, if you lump Halloween in with the fuzzy feel-goods of Thanksgiving and Christmas, you've got too many emotions and shit going on. Well, you've also got... Too much holiday. Especially because Scott, with Scott's, it goes all the way up to New Year's. You've got, a, you've got too rounded out of a story. You don't have... It's a holiday special, but it's too many holidays. It's not yep. focused, and, and Halloween tends to be all the spooky, scary stuff. And while Ellen does have a dark Christmas story mm -hmm. going on in there through the mix. It's a horror genre, or at least some kind of, you know, like yeah. sadder, darker thing going on. Compass, compass, compass. The, the <laughs> spooky, scary of, you okay, know. Where's Mr. There he is. My, my thing is that if we have Halloween in there, it's too okay. much. So much plan of getting it out by September isn't a bad idea. No, it's not. We have uh, one place one, left. One more track over there. Yeah, which we got to go all the way back there for. Yeah, a long track. Do we want to fast forward through this, or...? We can clip it. Define clip it, because I'm the one who's editing this. Because mm. so if we cut this here... I'll, I'll fast forward, and we'll see what happens. We'll see how much we can get it lined up, folks. Cut the footage and line it up and do all of the stuff to make it go faster. So you don't have to suffer through us walking, and we're gonna have to do it on the way back. Because we gotta go both directions. 
Yeah, we didn't realize how much we um, uh, traveled that way first. Um, but yeah. Because uh, technically we should have left that other offshoot to later, but we didn't realize that it was the end. So we got there. Yeah, and we're back. Okay, cool. Um, so, yeah, Mom's timeline was not mine, and I didn't even factor the production stuff in that timeline, because James is going to have to work on all of it in the background while we're doing all the other stuff to get mm -hmm. it going, to get it done. Well, to get it all set up so that once it is set up... And the problem is, is for the manuscript itself, we have to wait for a template from the, from the publishers before they can put together a true cover for it. Because they have to get the page count in order to make a spine big enough. Mm hmm. Because they have to figure out how big the spine needs to be, how big the book needs to be. In order to make the actual thing. And then we have to wait for the copy of it. First I'm, copy. I'm hoping it's not going to cut it close. It probably will. We've got a decent enough timeline, but I don't know. I'm just worried. I'm stressed. It's going to be very stressful until... I've mentioned to Erica my fears, and she understands where I'm coming from. Ellen is like, I understand as well, because that is... And I've mentioned to Ellen that I'm afraid people are going to pull their shit mm. if we, you know, tell them we have to stall it for another year because they don't think it's worth it, which is their concern to have. That's 100% understandable. Well, also, as a possibility, it may not... Even if everything goes right on your end, it may still take the actual creators of the spine and everything another month to get everything set, all everything laid out, and everything printed up for that first copy and make sure that you have it all right. Well, the sending back and forth may take another two weeks. So that may push it back until Christmas itself, which most people don't like to do. That's why I'm saying if we ain't at table read November, we are screwed. Well, it may be that it comes out on Christmas, January. I'm hoping it does. Um, it's possible. I'm not saying that it's a must, but I'm saying that it is possible. Which means it'll still be out in time, it's just it'll be really, really tight. I don't think there'll be enough time for sales of um, but at the same time, people may look at it kind of like Nightmare Before Christmas came out, in between Halloween and Christmas, in its first run. It actually did better the second year because it was already known by then. So it may give it a leg up because it may give it that whole year to actually get some hype behind it. Maybe. I'm just... Mom's timeline is way too loose for me, and it's not working. Like, well, it, it's, how many, how, how hard am I going to have to kill myself to get this one? No, you, you shouldn't have to kill yourself. Um, and the reason why most things don't worry too much about that particular piece is because actually having it just a little bit late isn't a bad thing. I'm already thinking about what am I going to have to blame this on you if not it have, takes too long. You may not have to blame it on anything. Like, what do I blame this on, and then what solutions do I propose, and what excuses do I give to make it sound better than it is? Like, already I'm thinking I'm going to have to tell them, like, hey, so while we don't, we won't finish this year, with an extra year, we can take a little more time to produce better quality. Well, not even just that. Do better quality edits, take our time with it, not feel so rushed, not have to, like, produce garbage. It would be better quality. <coughs> and, and we'd have more time to, you know, keep everything happy and great. It wouldn't feel like a rush job. Bless the telly. Bless the telly for this zone, especially. 
It was like three stops in this town. This run. God, so many. Do we want to search the whole desert, or are we not caring? There's a whole desert. Even just edging this place is like. It's a lot. We do like getting our XP builds. It's one good thing about this area, it will give you some decent XP. The bad thing is, it does take some time. Is on my side. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, time. He's on my side. Look at that. Or you want to stand on the shield? Where? 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 You can't grab it either. Where? Where? Shield. I'm carrying enough great scrolls for both of us. You're carrying a small army's worth of great scrolls. It's only eight of them. Jesus Christ. Hmm. But yeah, so... How's the timer going? Oh, it's got three minutes. Hmm. So even if we don't finish selling you, we'll, uh, we'll be back. It's okay. The most epic looking sword! It's trash. I mean, look at that sucker! Looks great! It's not Cloud's Bluster Sword It's like yet. that. Oh, dear God, no. That's worse. That's in no. There you go. There's a bow for you, too. Father. I got a better bow for you. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's cute. Oh, hey, I found something, I think, for you. Hey. Question? Is it? No, it's not. Okay. Do you want it? No. Not particularly. One. I, I can throw one of these on there. No? Let me see what else I get in the shop. Trash. That's the guarantee. Please it shouldn't be just yet. Just, oh, thank God. Mm. Okay, so. Yep, yeah, I'm take junk. Let's see about this in. Uh, 58 leggings. I think that's a son of a bitch. <laughs> Yeah, there's your lowered mine. Forty nine armor. Have it ring. No. So yes or no? Mm. Yeah. It's not bad. It's not better than mine, though. No, it's not better. Yeah, but the age of 13. Yeah. It's actually 55 to 83. Mm-hmm. Away it goes. Yeah, let's get rid of some of these gate scrolls. <laughs> I'm just collecting gate scrolls. Yeah. As you do. Apparently. Then I'm going to forget to put on my pants. Yep. Let me not put on my pants just now. She likes forgetting her pants, folks. Look, I really don't like pants. How's, how's the meat say? Because the episode's almost over anyway. So. Just going in. Woo! Another episode! Join us next time on whatever the fuck this is. <laughs> Random bullshit. Let's play. We still haven't figured out how to do the intros or outros, folks. <laughs> what even are they? <laughs> it's just two glue floops playing a game. Glue floops? Yep.
Floopies. <laughs> it's Fibber Knuckers. 